Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your monthly reading for January 2018. This is for the sign of Cancer. Happy New Year. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment, and I will focus the camera in on the spread once I have it laid out. I do need to remind you that this is not a private reading, so it may not resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. So it looks like this month you are, pro this is the month of January, mind you. Um, this month you're, you're looking at things from a new perspective. You know, you're, you're open to the possibilities this month, okay? And I think you're open to the possibilities because a cycle has ended, you know? 2017 is over, it's 2018, and you're, you're just like, okay. What's this year got in store for me? Okay. I think the past, I think you're getting over some kind of defeat. You were defeated in some way or you felt defeated or you went through some kind of crisis that's now over. Now you're feeling pretty free or you freed yourself from a situation or you're getting ready to free yourself. You know it's going to be a struggle, but you're going to do it anyway. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I know you don't like that word. The wheel and the world are both here, but they are reversed. The lesson hasn't quite been learned yet. So I think you are on the verge of learning something. You're on the verge of letting go. So many of you probably already have or you are right there. You are on the edge. It's like, I am ready. I have to accept this truth and I am going to do it. For some of you, you really have to break free. We have the devil and the eight of swords right here. It's time to accept the truth of a situation. And you know, being a new year, many of you are right there. It's like, you know, I'm going to have this year be right. I'm going to do it right. So you may just decide to let go of something that no longer serves you. I mean, that's what I see with the devil card and the eight of swords. This is freedom. It's feeling like I have to free myself now. I cannot be here anymore. You're stuck. You can't play the victim anymore. And I feel like many of you have been doing that. Like, I'm the victim here. But the fact of the matter is you're not the victim. And I think you're coming to that realization that, you know, it's time. It's time. It's time for me to move on. It's time for me to bring my wishes into play, okay? It's time for me to head in the direction of wish fulfillment. And I think that in order to do that, you have to close a door. I mean, you do. These are both wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups and the Star. Uh, they are wish fulfillment. Unfortunately, the Nine of Cups is reversed. So this tells me for your wishes to be fulfilled in love, you're going to have to close a door. You are. You're going to have to let go of something, some kind of drama that's in your life, some kind of spa or person or whatever that is bringing you conflicts and causing you to have your guard up all the time it's like you're walking on eggshells and you can't do it anymore it's like this is drama that i don't need so i think this month you may be speaking speaking up saying you know i'm not gonna do this anymore i'm ready for a change i'm ready for this true love i'm ready for this commitment I'm ready for this ultimate partner. And I think that the time of procrastination and ignoring the situation is over. I think many of you have been, you're with somebody, perhaps from your past, okay? You're with somebody that, or you're thinking about somebody from your past. You have been. There's somebody from your past that is on your mind. I have to tell you that. And you're, you're really thinking about it a lot. You want to be there, but you know it's not healthy for you. And I feel like there's a big lesson to be learned with the wheel and the world, both there reversed. 
you need to let something end. I think it's an old relationship, an old feeling for somebody that you had that's just not there anymore. It's like you put in all you could put in, but it's not working out. I feel like, you know, for some of you, there was a third party situation and you're removing yourself from the situation. You know that it's a struggle. It is a struggle and you've been denying the struggle and you didn't want to face the struggle, but I think this month you're facing it. It's like, okay, I know it's going to be a struggle, but I have to accept the truth and I'm going to accept the truth. No more lies, no more deceit. I'm moving on. Okay. I feel like um, the delays are over. You have been procrastinating on making the move that you need to make. And you've been staying stuck in this situation out of fear, out of fear of, you know, being alone. There's codependency issues here. And I know that somebody's going to comment down below that, well, cancers are codependent. Fuck you. Okay. That's what I got to say about that. Okay. Everybody is codependent in some way. I mean, not everybody, but you know what I'm saying. It doesn't have nothing to do with the sun sign. Okay, it really doesn't. Every sign has a codependent tendency and it matters on the person. Okay, so I see codependency in the devil card. That's why I'm saying it. There's a codependency here where you don't want to be alone. And right next to the Two of Cups, you want a partner. That's all there is to it. And one of the reasons that you are still stuck in the situation that you are in is because of codependency. There's fear here. You want to be free. You don't want to be with this person you're with, but you don't want to be alone. And that's what's going on this month. For perhaps this month, you decide to say, you know what? To hell with this shit. To hell with this shit. We're going nowhere. This is all fake. I see fakeness here. I don't see any love. Yeah, you want a partner. You want this ultimate love. But other than that, you're not receiving it from the person you're with. And I think this month, you are going to speak up. And you are going to do the right thing for you. Okay? And you do have the tower here. The tower is here to help you break down something that no longer serves you. That's what the tower does. There was a false foundation. There was a fakeness. Somebody wasn't being true. There was lies. Okay. There was probably some cheating. And now it's come to light. The truth has come out and somebody has to take action. They have to remove themselves. And you know, with the world in the wheel card here, there's a completion that needs to happen. Unfortunately, you haven't done it yet. Because these are reversed. If you're looking for good luck, if you're looking for good fortune, if you're looking for a successful future, then you need to take action. You're going to have to struggle through it. You're going to have to accept the truth and you have to free yourself. Nobody is going to do it for you. You have to free yourself. There's no doubt about it. There's something going on that is not true. But your thing is, is you know it's not true. But you're in denial because you don't want to be alone, all right? You don't want to be alone. You need a partner, okay? You're, to you, wish fulfillment is having that other half. That's what wish fulfillment is to you. Right now, you're walking on eggshells. The tower is here to break that down for you. Okay, when the tower comes in, it means something is going to happen this month that is going to shake things up and force you to face the truth and to speak up and to speak your mind. Okay, something's going to happen that is probably going to be um, harsh. Okay, something is going to happen. It's going to be harsh and you're going to be forced to speak your truth. Okay. You're going to be forced to look at things from a new perspective. This is a test. All right. There's a test here. Do you want true love or do you want fake? That's the question. That's the test. Are you going to do what the what is right for you? Or are you going to be stuck in a situation that you're not happy in? Are you just going to play the victim? Because that's what I see. I mean, I don't care if you guys like me or not. I really don't. Okay? Are you going to play the victim? Because this is what this is. Playing the victim. 
I can't free myself. Bullshit. Bullshit. You're, you're not bringing success to your life. And I'm sorry to tell you this. I mean, I am not going to make it into something it's not. Okay? I'm not. These upright are success. They are both reversed. They are reversed because there's not success here. You're not being successful because you aren't listening to your truth. You aren't following your truth. You aren't being true to yourself. Okay? You're staying trapped in a situation you don't want to be in. And you're staying trapped there because you think you need to have a partner, even if it's the wrong one. False foundations don't last. They always crack. Okay? Lies and deceit come out, and it's going to happen. Okay? It is. You deserve love. You deserve a soulmate. You deserve to have your wishes fulfilled. Okay? You do. The fact of the matter is, is it's in your hands. You must free yourself from this toxic situation that you're in. There's addictions here for somebody who's watching this. Addictions are taking over. They're they're making you feel like you know, there's a, when you're when you're going through whatever it is, you bury it with some kind of addiction so it makes it okay. But that addiction can the the effects of whatever it is only last for so long. And then you have to face reality again. Okay? And the reality is is that you are not being true to yourself. And I think this month being January 2018, you might decide to be true to yourself and take action and accept the test. There's a test here. Do you have the strength to free yourself from this toxic situation? Do you have the strength to spin the wheel? Do you have the strength to start a new chapter, a brand new chapter? Are you going to le learn the lesson that you have been presented? Because the world is a lesson. Somebody in the past, this is the past, somebody in the past, it's over. It's over with somebody in the past and you just can't let it go. You just can't let it go. All right. You had so much hope. You had so much hope for this. But it's not working out. I'm sorry to tell you that. Yeah, you have to free yourself. That's all there is to it. You have to take the lead. You have to. You have to really, really focus. Okay? And this can be a job. It can be a partner. I'm not sure. But I feel like many of you have to free yourself from something that is not making you happy. And I think this month of January, you are seriously contemplating it. But you might still hold on for a little bit longer. It's really going to take a toll on you. It's going to take a toll on your health. Okay? This month, you are going to be carrying around this heavy burden because it's going to be on your mind so much. Now we have the Ten of Wands reversed. It's going to be on your mind. You're going to be thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. You're going to be really focused on this problem. Okay? And you're going to be real. It's going to be right there. You're going to be wanting to speak the truth. But the fact of the matter is, I don't want to be alone. So... I have to tell you that this month of January 2018 is about looking at things from a new perspective, being open to other opportunities, okay? Realizing that there are many other fish in the sea. There are many other opportunities, whatever they may be. If it's not about a relationship, it's about a job. Okay? And letting go of vindictiveness as well. Okay? Because this Queen of Swords can be very vindictive. Alright? So I want to tell you who we have here for players. We have somebody from your past, for sure. There's somebody in your from your past that you can't get off your mind. And it can literally be making you sick. But you know it needs to go. Okay? 
So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Leo again. We have Aquarius. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Virgo. Um, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I believe we have them all. We do. So you could be dealing with any sign. Either way, I think you are being urged to let go of something that is very heavy. It's very heavy for you to carry around, okay? But you're not letting go because this is reversed. You are being urged. Your mind is telling you that you need to. Your mind is telling you that you need to let go of this. It's too heavy. It's not working out. But your heart is saying, I love this person. Even if they don't reciprocate, I love this person. But I feel like the reciprocation isn't there. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't. It wasn't meant to be. They think the chapter is ending. Or I love this job if it's not a person. You you felt emotionally connected to something. And you are having a very hard time letting it go. This month is really about contemplation. Focusing. Introspection. Taking the time to plan for the future. Really de making a decision. Deciding what am I going to do. I think it's a very uh, challenging month of do I stay or do I go? And I think that you will probably try to um, bury these feelings in your job, okay? You will probably try to um, cover this up with uh, cover this up, this feeling of despair of uh, fee of you know knowing what you need to do with addictions and um, burying your self in your job okay so the the best way at this point for you this is what you're thinking is to block all these feelings of despair out with addictions and focusing your energy elsewhere but that's not fixing the problem it's not so i feel like this is a month of realizing that a change is needing needed so this is a month of realization Okay. There's a lot of thinking going on this month. What am I going to do? And I feel like you you just you want this love so badly that you can't let go. But I feel like there's no reciprocation. It's going nowhere. I feel like there's no future with whoever it is that's coming to your mind. There's no future. That's what I, I'm telling you the truth. Okay? And you, I'm sure that people are going to get upset about this. But, you know, what do you want me to do? You want me to pretend? Um, I feel that if you were to take action and really follow your thoughts, okay, listen to your inner guide, if you were to take action and free yourself because i see that you need to free yourself okay we have the eight of swords twice with the devil card there's codependency issues here and they aren't making you happy okay they aren't if you were to free yourself i think by summertime you would have wish fulfillment and a new love okay i think you would have wish fulfillment and new love by summertime you know, but you have to accept this challenge. You have to accept this test. There's a test here. There's a test. You have to accept it. Okay? Are you going to pass the test or are you going to fail the test? Are you strong enough to let go of this toxic situation? That is the test. Can you free yourself? Do you have the means inside you to do that, to let go? Do you have the confidence? Do you have the determination? Do you have the willpower? Do you have the strength? Can you do it? That is the test. When you do, if you accept this test and you do it by summertime, love, if you are single or if that's what this is about, because I see something, love, will, that you are destined to have that will bring you fantastic wish fulfillment will come in by summertime should you decide to let yourself go through this renewal that is needed a renewal is needed 
I see that you want romance. I see that you want uh, this re a relationship that grows. I see that you're very sensitive. But I also see that you need to let go of something you, that is no longer reciprocating. You know, you're not getting what you desire. And the only reason you're staying there is because of codependency. The first card is Cupid. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. <laughs> That is the basis of your reading, and that is the, definitely the problem. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. You deserve to be loved, fully and truthfully. From Archangel Michael, keep your eyes on the targeted intention Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. I think I mentioned realizing earlier. This is what it's about, too. <laughs> These cards are perfect. You know what you need to do in this month. It's, on, it's in your head big time. Big time. You're on the verge. If you were to take action now and free yourself from this toxic situation, by summertime, you could be in love with whatever it is that you desire. But you have to take action right now. And the thing is, is you can't manifest the wrong one. I have, to, I have to really tell you that. If you think that you can make the person you're with love you, you're wrong. Or if you think the job is going to get better that you're in, that, you know, it's just going to get better, it's going to get better, you're wrong. Things don't change like that. You can't make something change. You can't. The only thing you can make change is yourself. And that's the test. There's a test here. There's no doubt about it. You want wish fulfillment? It takes confidence and courage to take action towards your dreams. So... I would get moving if you want this in the summertime. Remember, this: if you don't take action, nothing changes. Talk to you later, Cancer. The month of January is about realizing your dreams.